This is the flavor at the end. Fresh lobster and pappadelle pasta tossed in a tomato cream vodka sauce is a top seller, along with the shrimp scampi. It literally was one of the dishes we put on the menu the night before we opened because one of our chefs said, oh, I make a great scampi, and it's been number one dish out the door for weeks. It really speaks to our collaboration and our trust in our cooks. Sushi is a new addition to the menu. It's spicy tuna, avocado, mango, simple and just delicious. The bustling bar scene coupled with unique cuisine makes the Pearl a treasure and a dream come to life, says Pickney. When we got the space, it was dirt floor and we were able to build and really get our vision, what we wanted to bring to the community. We are two couples who would like to go out to dinner more often, see more people like us, have good food, and not be overcharged for it. So that was kind of our premise going into this, and we always said, why not us? Since 2014, visitors to Nantucket have packed the Nautilus restaurant. Now, Bostonians can save the ferry fare because its harborside sibling has docked in Boston's seaport neighborhood. I think we were pretty excited to come ashore. The Nautilus Pier 4 is shiny and new, but owners Clinton Terry, Stephen Bowler, and Liam Mackey say that Nantucket regulars will still feel at home. We each put like a real lot of who we are into these places. It's a really great sort of canvas to let who you are and, and what you, you like to sort of shine through. And we certainly wanted to uh, provide a similar experience, so we brought some of our classic hits up here, like the crab rice and, and the Peking duck. Asian, Mediterranean, and Latin flavors pop throughout the seafood focus menu. Executive chef Stephen Marcarell says the whole roasted Peking duck is always a crowd pleaser. We age it for a minimum of six days, sometimes up to 10, and it really creates a crisp skin, and yet the drying process also gives us the ability to, so that it's super tender. But one of his favorite dishes is the Japanese hamachi crudo. The whole thing is bright and clean and sour, and it just hits all the notes 100%. Behind the bar, Clinton Terry has designed a menu of vibrant cocktails, such as the My Mainland Mistress. It's an ounce and a half of gin. It's a half ounce of this Carpano Bitter Botanical. We'll squeeze a lemon, and then we add this lovely rhubarb foam in the end. And the nutting to see here, inspired by Tom Brady. During his Super Bowl parade, he joked and he got a little, uh, got a little banged up, you know? He sent out that tweet, you know, nothing to see here with all the misspellings, just a little avocado tequila. So I was inspired, so I did an avocado infused tequila and then this is a fresh salsa verde. Being a classically trained chef, like I like the culinary inspired beverages. So most everything is you know, made from scratch. And though this crew is adjusting to city life. The original Nautilus on Nantucket only has about 60 seats. So we're at about 220 here. So it's quite a big jump up. They find themselves lucky to have the best of both worlds. I got the island life and then I come up here and I'm in the middle of the seaport with, you know, just glass towers all around me and the water. And, and it's just a really cool juxtaposition. The Nautilus partners told us they had been looking to expand onto the mainland for a while, but it took some time to find the right space. They eventually headed to the seaport and fell in love with Pier 4. You probably know it as the longtime home of the legendary Anthony's Pier 4 restaurant, which closed in 2013. Both Nautilus and the Pearl were named to Boston Magazine's best new restaurant list for 2021.